Hey everyone, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we are taking a look at the iPhone 12 Pro in all of the colors here. The point of this video is for you guys to see them in under different lighting conditions. So as you can see here, everything is a little bit washed out. We have the silver, Pacific blue, the gold, and the graphite right here. And uh, let's go ahead and start off here with the blue so you can see that there. Again, this is the Pacific blue. Definitely quite a bit different to the blue that you have with the iPhone 12, which is much deeper, much of more of an actual, actual blue. This is definitely more of an aqua, like oceanic blue. And Apple does portray that on their website. And I really do like the way that it looks. I'm a fan. If I would have gone for this instead of the graphite, I would have been happy. I don't think I would have exchanged it, but I wanted graphite last year after I saw it because I realized how much more I liked it than the midnight green. So I'm glad I got the graphite just because it's a more neutral color. It's gonna match with more cases and more of the things that I own. But this blue is really an incredible looking color. You can see the sides there. Worth noting that on all these colors this year, the sides are a little bit more reflective than last year for some reason. They also feel a little bit sleeker. Uh, I don't know, it's a little bit different, but there is a lot more reflection. It looks more like jewelry this time around, more so than this. And I think maybe it's just due to the fact that it's flat instead of curved, so you get a different reflection on here. That's probably it. Good news is that all the colors have been reworked slightly, so all my complaints from last year are basically gone. Last year I spoke a lot about how the white didn't look like white or like silver. This year it definitely looks a little bit more like white and um, it just looks really, really good. They've kind of changed the matte finish on the back of these and they all look a little bit better this year than they did. They kind of just refined this matte material that they've been working on here on the back. And if you like white phones or silver phones, this is probably gonna be your favorite one in a long time. It looks really great. So if we see here, the iPhone XS. I had this one back then, I hated it. You can see that that cloudiness is kind of gone. See that cloudiness? It looks almost like grayish and it's very dull. It's kind of gone. It's much brighter now. It's much cleaner and nicer and it's gonna look better in cases. So I'm a fan of this white one or silver this year. I do really like it. In previous years, I've always gotten the gold one in the Max model because it's the size I like the least with the color I like the least. That's not true of the gold this year. It's a little bit more toned down here. There's some nice pink hues to this back. The gold on the sides looks lovely. I think it's a very nice tone of gold. It actually almost looks like gold gold. So it looks really nice. The black and gold with the screen here on the front looks real good. And overall, they have kind of basically perfected this tone of color that they've been going over the past couple of years. And I think people that have liked the gold phones over the past couple of years are gonna really like this one. I still, for me, find the iPhone, I believe seven, the one with the aluminum back, the gold one to be the best gold phone they've made with the white front. I thought that one was just great. And this one is now the second best one that they've made. I really do like this one. I wouldn't mind actually using this and buying this one. Uh, it just looks good. It looks really, really good. As far as the graphite one, it does look very similar to last year. Not many changes there, but we do get those glossier sides, flat, and overall, this does feel a little bit better than it did last year. So I think if you like something that's very inconspicuous, it's not gonna bring too much attention, this is the way to go. That's why I went with this this year. It also matches with a lot more cases. Same thing goes for the white one. They just match more cases due to the fact that there's just kind of a neutral color. So you can, you know, put a skin on this, put a black case on this, and it's gonna mat it out. Not bring too much attention, but if you get it and put it on one of the other ones, then of course you're gonna get nice um, accents and stuff around the devices. So here if we put it on the gold one. You're gonna be able to see the gold there. Let's go ahead and show you the blue one right there. You can see that there. And of course I have tons of cases and stuff um, to show y'all. And I'll be showing B-roll of how these devices look in different lighting conditions. But I think the point is here, there's no bad color, at least on the pro line of devices. On the 11 or the normal 12, I do not like the white one because as you can see that there, it looks a little odd, doesn't it? If you compare it here to the 12 Pro. It has some pinkish hues and stuff that just make it not white and it almost resembles more of like a color in between the silver and the gold. Might be a good thing if that's what you're looking for, but if you're looking for white, I don't think that the normal 12 is the way to go. Now how does the leather case look on these? Maybe you can kind of see it there. Uh, if I just kind of run them over real quick. Um, 
they all look really good. I mean, all these devices, the fact that the stainless steel sides, the colors are kind of toned down. They don't uh, pop too much, kind of like the iPhone 12 blue here. You can see how much more that pops, so it makes it a little bit harder to match with cases and stuff. That's something to keep in mind. I still have to get the uh, red, I think, and then the yellow or pink uh, tomorrow, or no, actually green tomorrow because those did not show up here today. But you can see these. Let's go ahead and grab them all carefully because I do not want to scratch any of these. And now you can see all the boxes there for the devices. Very cool. All the accents and everything around there, the new wallpapers. Here we take a closer look at them. You can see them all in their glory right there. You can see that all the colors are nicely toned down. They look really great. The white one, of course, is going to show those lenses the most. You know, they have a lot of contrast. You can see the LiDAR sensor right there. The blue one honestly blends everything in quite nicely. I would say as far as, you know, showing the cameras, you got the uh, white one or the silver first, then it would be the gold, then the blue, then the graphite kind of hides them the best. Um, but both the graphite and the blue do a good job of kind of just mixing that all in nicely. I'm moving things around very slowly because if those camera bumps touch the front of another device's screen, they will most likely scratch like they have in previous years, even though this does have supposedly a stronger screen compared to the previous devices. Now here is just so you guys can see it from the front. I always get a ton of comments and a bunch of people that say like, we didn't get to see it from the front. Well, let me grab them here from the front and show you there so you can see that there. There you go. You can see the aluminum or the stainless steel here a lot on the silver. The blue, you really can't see much. The gold, you can kind of see the gold peeking through and the graphite a little bit as well. None of these are really gonna um, hide as much or show as much, I guess, as the 12 because these have right here the aluminum. So here on the black, it's basically matted out so you don't see any reflection or anything here on the front like you do on these right here. But you can kind of see there how they look. i put that back. They all look really, really great. I mean, again, it really is like jewelry. These are very nicely designed devices. Whatever color you go for, you're gonna be very happy with them. The size is great. I think 6.1 inches is great for most people. Of course, we will be getting the 12 mini in November. So we'll be checking that out to see because that smaller screen is definitely gonna be good for people that like the SE and all that. But again, this is the iPhone 12 Pro in all of the colors. Let me know what color you guys are gonna get. I'll definitely be sticking with this graphite color. My brother actually got the Pacific blue color. And uh, yeah, looking forward to using these devices, checking them out more. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Please do check out the videos on the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.